scabies is an infestation by a mite. Sarcoptis scaby var hominis. Transmission occurs by skin to skin contact, sexual contact, and infested fomites like towels, clothes, beddings. Symptoms start 3 to 6 weeks after prior infestation but faster around 2 to 3 days after a reinfestation. Multiple cases may occur in schools, orphanages and other such cluster settings. Symptoms and signs. Intense itch that is worse at night. Other members of the family are often also affected. Red itchy papules and escorations are seen mainly over fingers, interdigital spaces, wrist, periambilical area, breast, buttocks, axillary folds, waist, genitalia and an extensor aspects of the limbs. The face, palms and soles are usually spared in adults but typically involved in young children. Burrow is the most characteristic lesion of scabies but is often not observed. Burrows should be looked for in web spaces and wrist and appear as thin brown grey lines of 0.5 to 1 cm. Sometimes vesicles are also seen. Lesions may be sparse in those with a good hygiene. Other presentations. Extremely itchy persistent nodules may develop over male genitalia. Secondary bacterial infection can occur in those with poor hygiene, especially in children. Crusted scabies. Severe form of scabies that develops in those with predisposing factors such as immunosuppression due to disease or drugs, including topical steroids, neurological disorders or physical incapacitation or mental retardation associated inability to scratch. Thick yellow brown crust form that are densely packed with mites. The thick crust may be localized to hands and feet, including nails. Diagnosis Diagnosis is usually clinical. Demonstration of mites, mites egg or mites feces, sibala, may be attempted from burrows, if visible or by dermoscopy, if available. And from the thick crust in case of crusted scabies where mite is easily demonstrable. Treatment General measures All family members and close contacts must be simultaneously treated to prevent reinfestation. The clothes and other fabrics such as towel and bed linen used by the patient in preceding three days must be washed with hot water and dried in the sun. The items may also be kept sealed in a plastic bag for at least three days. Also useful for shoes and other non-washable items. Most patients are treated with topical alone. Permethrin 5% cream. Apply over the whole skin surface, neck downwards and dry and clean skin. Wash off after 8-12 to 12 hours. Advice to apply late evening and keep overnight. In infants, the face and scalp must also be treated. Special attention must be given to interdigital web spaces axilla, area under the fingernails and toenails, the wrist, the external genitalia and the buttocks. To ensure 8 hours of contact time, permethrin should be reapplied if the hands are washed. About 30 grams of cream is used for one application in adults and children more than 5 years. 15 grams for children less than 5 years. The application is to be repeated after 7 to 14 days. Alternatively, 1% gamma benzene hexachloride or lindane may be used for the application as above for permethrin. Avoid using infants. Oral treatment for patients with poor compliance or response to topical therapy. Oral ivermectin at a dose of 200 microgram per kilogram up to 12 milligram, two doses one week apart taken with food. Avoid ivermectin in infants, children less than 5 years old or less than 15 kg and in pregnancy. Permethrin has been safely prescribed in these situations. Antihistamines should be prescribed as per the patient's requirement. Treatment of secondary infection, staphylococcal or streptococcal. Bacterial skin infections. Treatment of crusted scabies. Ivermectin on days 1, 2, 8, 9 and 15. Additionally on days 22, 29 days in severe cases with permethrin 5% cream 
daily for 7 days, then twice weekly until cure. A keratolytic such as 3 to 6 percentage salicylic acid may be used over crust. Nodular lesions. Potent topical steroid, clobetazole propanate or intralesional steroid, triamcinolone acetonide, 10 mg per ml may be required for persistent nodules. Post-treatment advice. The patients must be explained that itching can continue for several weeks after successful treatment and repeated applications are not required. Continue antihistamines for symptomatic management. However, if itching persists for more than 3 to 4 weeks or if new lesions are noted, a reinfestation is likely. This can occur if all close contacts were not simultaneously treated. Treat the entire skin, not lesions alone. Treat the family contacts, not the patient alone.